first time. <laughs> My name is Rory Critchard, I'm from South West London. I live in a town called East Malsey, not far from Hampton Court Palace. I stud I'm studying for a BA in Modern and Medieval Languages, particularly Spanish this year. I did Portuguese for my first two years. Um, I play a range of sports, particularly cricket, but I also play hockey for the college and I also play a bit of golf every now and then. Yeah. I got into cricket probably about the age of three or four. My grandpa was the one that brought me into the game, uh, so I owe a lot to him. He's from up north near Lancashire, uh, helped in the regional setup. So he's my influence from about four years old, um, and he still comes to my games now, watches, criticises me, but all constructive criticism. Um, I'm actually a bowler, bowling all rounder, I like to say, but I specialise particularly in opening the bowling. My main thing here at the university is as an opening bowler um, with a few useful runs at the end of the innings. So college cricket, pretty good standard I would say, but a very different competition to the cuppers competitions for the winter sports. We only have a four week window to get the games in before exams. If you're fortunate enough to get through the group stages, you then have to get another couple of games in after exams. In the fields at the back of St John's, we have a grass wicket ourselves, which a lot of colleges might not have. They might have an AstroTurf wicket. For a university player like myself, it's important to have a grass wicket, which we are lucky enough to have here. And we also have some AstroTurf nets as well. I think there's five or six of them, which is really good, available to St John's students whenever they like, I believe. Um, so it's really important to be able to have those facilities really on our doorstep. I personally got involved with the university side after playing throughout my school career. Um, I played to a decent enough level at KCS Wimbledon and wanted to keep going with my cricket for at least another four years to a high level. So I've been lucky enough to play for the university, play in several varsity matches, experience Lords, which is a once in a lifetime opportunity, and to play a few first class matches, which is really something that I'll treasure. I would say that Playing the university sport, in particular cricket, definitely has advantages in terms of the academic scenario. I've been very fortunate to be able to switch off during exam terms, which other people might not be able to do, by playing cricket, doing some physical activity, um, and maintaining my health to a certain level. And then when I'm not playing cricket, I can really knuckle down, spend the time necessary, and really focus in on the work. So I definitely would say that being playing a university sport definitely has advantages on your, your work side as well. We're starting the season with a game against the Unicorn side, which is composed of players who haven't quite achieved a professional contract yet. We follow that with three important games against county sides, two first-class fixtures, one against Nottinghamshire and one against Lancashire. The third one will be a non-first-class game against Middlesex. And then the rest of the season is really competitions against the other MCCU centres around the country. On a personal level, the game I'm most looking forward to at the start of this season is obviously against Lancashire, with half of my family from up north in the Lancashire region. And having followed the side since I was four or five years old, it would obviously be very special for me to play against them. Who in particular? It's a toss-up between James Anderson and Stuart Broad. Um, we're playing both Nottinghamshire and Lancashire. I think I have to say James Anderson because he's England's leading test wicket taker of all time, and I'm a Lancashire fan. Coming to university, there's obviously that hope that you might get a professional contract at some point, but it becomes, it's very difficult to balance a degree from Cambridge University and make it as a professional cricketer. So I'm hoping to carry on playing, but I've got to start, do some games for the MCC in order to obtain my membership with them, and I'll play some club level things as well on weekends. And I'm hoping to get a bit better at golf as well. I think using that for my weekends to play a bit of golf, um, hopefully I'll improve and get my handicap down a bit. Thanks, huh?